Hey guys, Toby here with Gacha Gamer. I would like to show you today how I actually like to reroll on different games I play. And the thing about rerolling is that you actually need to waste your time and it's not very interesting to do it. So I actually want to show you a method that I'm using myself, which utilizes a Bluestacks emulator. And I would like to show you like how fast and how quickly and effectively I can achieve greater results than just using my own phone. First let me tell you how to quickly download Bluestacks, then I'll tell you how to reroll in this game and then finally I'll show you how to set up Bluestacks for multiple instance rerolling. So the first thing you want to do is actually download Bluestacks emulator together with Calibria. I provided a link, you can click on it in the description below the video. Once you're at the webpage just click on the button called download Calibria and it will install Bluestacks together with Calibria on your PC. So the reroll process in Calibria works like this. You first want to achieve 750 gems and then use those gems to purchase 11 summon scrolls. And during the process of achieving these gems, you will be unlocking even more of them. Usually you end up with about 15 to 16 summon scrolls and then you can use these scrolls to basically get the results you're looking for and if you're not happy with them, you just reroll. Now usually how people play and reroll in Calibria is that they they usually just go through the whole charade of unlocking things, doing the quests, then finally seeing the final results, which is about you beating the three stages of the game. And then they actually have to go press on their account and then start a new account. And that's just for me, in my opinion, is a waste of time. Instead of doing that, the game usually can be played in these initial stages by just pressing on the autoplay button and increasing the speed of the game. Uh, you can have at least two instances running and doing this for you while you're just off to watching some TV series or YouTube videos instead. So how do you actually reroll is you need to complete the starter perks and then you also need to complete the growth plan. Growth plan actually doesn't need to be completed, you just have to complete certain tasks. They do award some things that accelerate the progress of your rerolling, but you do need to complete every single starter perks quest. So once you open it up, you will see that it has like three stages of completing. Uh, one of them is focused on bleeding the campaign. Uh, well, for the campaign you actually need to beat three of the stages and that the last one is the frozen one. Now one thing you need to keep in mind is when you're using your uh, heroes, make sure to save the support hero you granted until the last boss fight in the third stage. For my case, I didn't actually need to use it, but I have seen some reports people struggling with the boss, so just don't use the support hero unless you're at the final boss of the third stage. Now. The other part is how often do you need to babysit the emulators when they're running? And I'm talking about the part where you are actually going to lose on some stages. So you will be granted three heroes. They will suck at first and you actually need to get special attention to the runes. Make sure to go to the hero that's the leader one called Guardian Knight. Give him attack runes, give him HP runes, basically buff him up as much as possible. And then once you unlock the 4 star hero, I can remember her name, she's able to attack twice if she kills something. And also she's really good for 4 stars and she helps you immensely clearing all the initial stages. And of those 3 heroes basically just make sure all of them are equally leveled. So once you're doing the starter perks you will be unlocking some of the cats that you can use for the XP, then the XP can be used basically to just increase the level of your heroes and actually one of the starter perk quests will be requiring to level your heroes so just make sure to keep your heroes around level 12 to 15. You're not really losing a lot by just sacrificing those experience cats and those uh, skill cats I think they're also called like that. Your goal is to as quickly as possible achieve the reroll phase and that usually happens at about well in my case it takes about 30 to 25 minutes for a single reroll and the good thing about it is that if you're actually using emulators it will take you around 35 minutes because you will be multitasking a little bit but it doesn't require that much attention whereas if you're using just your phone then you actually need to spend like more than an hour to reroll two times as you can imagine this gets very tedious in the long run and I'm not the smartest person out there and I'm sure that some of you will be able to even multitask with three or even four copies of the game. Once you lock the four star hero, things get really easy. I would just say use all the cats you have for the XP granting for the enhancing of heroes and just make sure all of them are around like level 12 to 15, maybe even 20, some of them can be at that stage as well. Uh, one thing I need to mention is when you unlock two of those Trent creatures, like to those two two-star 
do not sacrifice them for enhancing on anyone else besides the cat because you will prevent yourself from progressing in the starter perks quest i actually made that mistake myself you need to give them to the two star cat which is called the ascension cat if i'm not mistaken and she needs to consume those two two star trends in order to progress in one of those quests make sure to actually also complete quests that are hidden from the menu there are they are basically daily quests and weekly quests they are not usually shown on the menu at the start so you just need to scroll on the left side of the game and find them it grants you actually about 50 to 60 gems so once you're done doing the three stages of the game and you end up killing the boss at the frozen area you also need to go once more into the catacombs and kill the catacombs boss once make sure to do the starter per quest where it requires you to just select for the game in auto options to focus only the boss himself not his eyes and yeah basically once you're done doing that you will have about four to 15 summon scrolls use those scrolls look at the results i, I re-rolled myself like four times i was happy that i got a natural five when one of them it was the fallen angel as you can see i was pretty happy about it not the best nat five i was expecting but it's still quite great you can also check out our guide called natural fives which ones are the best ones to re-roll for once you downloaded blue stacks together with calibria make sure not to press and open calibria itself actually the thing you want to do first is uh, close the emulator itself and you need to actually launch the bluestacks multi instance manager now I actually already have this open so what does a uh, multi instance manager do it, it creates uh, a different copy or an existing copy of another emulator you have already created so as an example I have like seven emulators already so to make this as simple as possible you really just need to create one working copy of an emulator which for now and in this case is called calibria main for you it will most likely be called just bluestacks so once you have calibria installed on bluestacks which means in the link i provided you below the video once you download it don't launch the game just yet first rename it to some sort of a sensible name so i just renamed it to calibria main this means that this game here this instance here has the working copy of the game and then you actually need to go over to this side and click on the button called clone instance now in here, just copy the settings I have here because you don't want to overload your computer with a lot of those applications running or instances in this case. So just make the lowest settings as much as possible. I just made one CPU core and then you select the amount of instances you want the game to be running in. So for this case, we're just going to be looking at two instances. One thing you need to keep in mind to actually never use the Calibria main. In this case, never use the one that you've created uh, with the app downloaded. Instead, start the instances of the copies you've created from the main one. So yeah, there we go. Now I'm just gonna launch the apps themselves. Okay, so now you can see both games are running. And if you look at the upper right corner, one of them is called Gotcha Reroll 2, Gotcha Reroll 3 at the bottom. So now obviously the game will want to walk you through all the introductory phases of it. I hope you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, make sure to leave a comment if you're having any difficulties or if you're getting any good heroes out of this. And if you want to get more content about Gacha Gaming or about Calibria, uh, subscribe to this channel. And of course, visit our website called GachaGamer.com. In there you can find various guides about the game and take care, see you later.